These people, can, once they start rapping all these religion, I mean, you can't compare nothing to what we got. Amen. So all of them just shut up. And you don't know what you're talking about. I say every Muslim an idiot. Every Christian an idiot. Men I already know idiots. They don't, don't ever compare them with us. We got foundation. Don't anybody go connect themselves to Abraham and come up in another place, you're a retard. Well, not, and then what makes it so bad, if you're saying you're following Abraham, you got the vision in Mecca, why in the world are you sitting on trying to bend in Jerusalem now? They're so back, they don't know where they're going. You claim the man came and appeared in Mecca. You went put it to, now you're over here bending in Jerusalem. It don't make common sense. I ain't trying to establish in America. They're just the place of my captivity, and I'm trying to get out of here. We building synagogues here. We ain't trying to build Bethel. That'd be retarded. Because they don't know what they're doing. None of these people don't know all they're doing is jumping all over the place trying to find something to try to validate themselves. That show they're unstable in water. I still be asking, why are we trying to put our home temple over here in Jerusalem when the man appeared to him in Mecca? It don't make sense. It ought to be in Egypt. That's where the little bastard went. All right. He was born out of wedlock. He was a bastard. Now you think we ain't got no covenant through no bastard or no eternal life? The Lord Yeshua was legitimately begotten. He made sure this man had an earthly father and he had a spiritual father. This man was told by, the, by, his, by Abraham White, cast out the bondswoman and her son, for they shall not be heirs with the son of promise, even Isaac. They got it. Amen. They don't come and try to get no consensus with me and no Muslim. We ain't going to never be able to work together. They ain't even the covenant. He don't already told you the hand of every man going to be at your throat. I'm trying to kill him. Y'all don't want to try to work it out. They ain't even the covenant he told the man. The covenant he told him gonna make that man a great nation. He told him he's gonna do that multiplying. We ain't gonna get nothing but a couple little princes. When it came out of Isaac, you know a king got raped at the end of the day of the week. King got raped at the end of the others. That got that. Huh? Amen. I ain't no way in the world we gonna be able to work together. Cause he gonna try to rule, I'm gonna try to rule. It ain't gonna work. Y'all only people, don't y'all sit in by the hype talking about we got to get what Muslim and Jew can't work. They're going to go past what we're told. When Paul came in the, in the fourth chapter, of the, let's say that the fourth chapter right quick of the book of Galatians. Y'all all right? Amen. I'm, let me tell you what we ain't going to do. For the way of y'all son of God, I ain't looking to work with no other religion. Amen. All I'm going to work to do is overthrow it. Ain't no use of me telling no lie. Brother, let's see how we can work. Brother, first of all, let's get this, this bad word and get this ignorant. We're not brother until you're going to have to convert to this truth. You're a stranger until you convert to this truth. That's the problem we got. Let's stop all that food. You are the human race you want to call, brother. Don't come out no brother on no religion. And it come down there, I ain't going to be able to work. I, ain't gonna, I can't work no apostolic. For what? You ain't even got part of lot in this. Let's see what he told us. What that Galatians chapter 4, what I want, 22. 19? 22. 22. Let's see. Give me 20. Amen. Matter of fact, give me verse 19. Let's Amen. see what it says since I called it. Amen. Listen to the book. My little children. Of whom I travail in birth again until Christ be formed in you. Come on. I desire to be present with you now. But what happened, son? And to change my voice. But what happened? For I stand in doubt of you. Come on. Tell me, ye that desire to be under the law. Yeah. Do ye not hear the law? Come on. For it is written that Abraham had two sons. Y'all heard that? Abraham had two sons. That's written. Now, is that, is that all? Is that all that Abraham had? No. Because he had sons by Keturah. Amen. Why did he refer to these two? Because these two got covenants. Amen. The other sons didn't get covenant. They were cast out and were given trinkets. Ishmael didn't get, he got his covenant and he was cast out. The other one, all they got were trinkets and they were sent away. At the 25th chapter of the book of Jeremiah, I mean Genesis. We don't know what we believe. Like you should say, we, you worship. You don't know what you worship. We know what we worship. Salvation of the Jews. How am I coming along and work with? When Jews and and Protestants and Catholics and Baptists all come and holler, we all God trip. We done told lies. Amen. You're gonna be, Amen. I'm gonna be telling a lie. That's right. Come on, son. Verse 22. Listen. For it is written that Abraham had two sons. The one. I want to get hold of what you got. Genesis chapter 25. Amen. Jump down and give me about, give me verse one first. Let's see what happened. What was going on at that time? Genesis 25 and 1. Listen to the book. Then again, Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah. Now, I grew up apostolic. In, well, I grew up Baptist, then apostolic, and all that good stuff. They never told me Abraham had no another wife. They tried to tell me he had got with his wife. She was his handmaid. 
He didn't marry no Haggai. She was an Egyptian. Only made sense to get rid of her. You know what's amazing about getting rid of her and her son? And you know what happened with Abraham? This is what happened in the 21st chapter right quick in the book of Genesis. 21 and 11. Y'all got a minute. Turn the heat down a little bit. They would come. Michael back there wrestling with that pretty coat. He trying to stay woke. Ain't nothing worse with somebody with some good hair with a pretty coat fall asleep and slob on them. Don't worry, it's part of the struggle. Remember the struggles. This is 21, this is Genesis 21 at verse 11. Listen to the book. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight. At verse 10. What Amen. happened, son? Amen. Come on. Wherefore she said unto Abraham. Make it nine. Come on. And Sarah saw this, and Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian. Doing what? Which he had born unto Abraham. Doing what? Mocking. You know what? What is mocking? Ridiculing. Mimicking. All that. He was actually, he was mimicking what he seen the child doing. You know what's funny about the Muslim? They mimicking us. Head wraps. How the women have to be. Women separate from the men, got to have some days. That's funny. Now, she saw this boy trying to favor, trying to do things the baby was doing. Let's see what she said. Wherefore, she said unto Abraham, Do what? Cast out this bondwoman. And her what? Son. Why? For the son of this bondwoman. Shall do what? Shall not be heir with my son. Even who? With Isaac. Talk to me, son. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight uh -huh. because of his son. And what happened? And God said unto Abraham, yeah. Let it not be grievous in thy sight. Why? Because of the lad. Yeah. And because of thy bondwoman. Yeah. And all that Sarah hath said unto thee. Do what? Hearken unto her voice. Now, you know what's amazing about that? See the 10th chapter of the book of Ezra right quick. We call a lot of stuff, don't we? Wonderful Savior. Amen. Now, I see these people, you know what they say? At least they're trying to be like you, Daryl. You should accept them. Why she didn't accept them? All he was doing was trying to be like the baby. She already knew it ain't going to work. No more they going to work that we going to be Hebrew, Muslim, Islam. Ain't no way in the world that's going to work. Listen. 10th chapter of the book of Ezra at verse 1. Listen. He still got me Genesis 25 and about verse 1, and the other brother still got me Galatians chapter 4, and I still got 1 Corinthians chapter 12. All that good stuff. We'll work it out. That's why we have teleprompt. Because we multiple people. Listen. Now when Ezra had prayed, and when he had confessed, weeping and casting himself down before the house of God, yeah. there assembled unto him out of Israel a very great congregation of men and women and children. I don't know what this had to do with anything. Come on, son. For the people wept very sore. For what reason? And Shechaniah, the son of Jehiel, one yeah. of the sons of Elam, answered and said unto Ezra, What did he say? We have trespassed against our God. And did what? Have taken... Strange wives are the people of the land. Call to me, son. Yet now there is hope in Israel concerning this thing. That we do what? Now therefore let us make a covenant with our God to put away all the wives and such as are born of them according to the counsel of my Lord. I don't know what this had to do with anything. Because they couldn't be heirs with the sons of promise. Why y'all think this happened? They had to put them away. We had made a covenant. They couldn't be heirs. Oh, you didn't think this just happened. We come along. What you think we're doing? They were mimicking Abraham. You, look, they're hard with heaven too. I got to get rid of my wife and my sons, my children. So did Abraham. So did Abraham. Y'all forgot what you read in, in Romans, the first chapter, about the 17th verse. Pick that up. 1 and 17. Can I see what that say right quick? Amen. Romans 117. Listen to the book. For therein is but the righteousness of God revealed. How? From faith to faith. I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. Anybody can help me out. I'm counting on the slow side. So the righteousness of God is revealed from what now? From faith to faith. Same faith. Same faith. Abraham, what you think he did in order to do that? He had to believe. Say, don't let it grieve you. Do it. Get rid of him. Same thing they had to do. They say after they wept, they realized something. 
You got to put them away. The righteous of God reveal from faith to faith. Ain't nothing changed. Y'all being told to do stuff, you won't do it. That's why you won't be saved. See the difference between us and them? Who you think they're going to go back and look at? I forgot about Ezra. He was a skill. In what law? You're going to tell me he was skilled in the law of Moses. He wouldn't have brought them back to Genesis? Abraham had to put away that woman and no child. And the child. Because they couldn't be heir. Same thing that happened here. Those people were not going to be heir with us. Wow. Wow. Y'all all right tonight? Amen. This is what I get paid for, right? Run all over the Bible and make no sense with it. Anybody you know that watch me that don't obey and ain't follow what they say? The man never stayed with one thing. He all over the place. None of the stuff don't matter. What about Christ and him crucified? That's how you're supposed to pre preach. Death, burial, resurrection. I'm preaching, you dead, you're going to resurrect, and the second resurrection, you ain't going to have no power. Ain't that right? Because you're going to error because you don't know the spirit. You don't know the scripture, nor the power of God. That's why these people now say they have no idea just how much attachment we got to this man. Back at the 25th chapter of the book of Genesis. See, none of this had nothing to do with nothing, did it? Genesis chapter 25, verse 1. Listen to the book. Then again, Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah. And what happened, son? And she bare him Zimram, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. Come on. And Jokshan begat Sheba, and Dedan, and the sons of Dedan were Asherim, led to Rim, led to Shem, and Leamim. Come on. And the sons of Midian, Ephath, and Ephur, Hanak, and Abida, and Eldah, all these were the children of Keturah. Come on. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac. And Abraham did what? Gave all that he had unto Isaac. And Abraham did what? Gave all that he had unto Isaac. And did what? But unto the sons of the concubines. He gave what? Which Abraham had. Yeah. Abraham gave gifts. And what did he do with them? Sent them away from Isaac his son, while he yet lived eastward unto the east country. And nowhere in the world you're going to have no part with him. He knew what the covenant was. It made no difference what else he begot. It was nowhere in the world you're going to have no part with that. All he could do was get them a little something and send them away while he was yet alive. Unlike a whole lot of us here, I'm going to tell you, I said, I told y'all before, the average of us in here show ourselves when it comes on our kids and our wives or husbands. This is where we, this is the average of our falling. Unlike Abraham, Abraham didn't love this woman nor Sarah no more than he loved the Lord his God. He knew what the covenant was. It didn't make no difference how he felt about them. It didn't matter what those boys did how they might have took care of him and how, whatever it was they might have done. That didn't change the fact. I know what the Most High God told me. While he was yelling a lie, he know, y'all going to have to leave. Y'all not going to be here with him. He going to bless this man. By this man, he going to establish his word. Not by you. You have to go. See, it's not hard. When you look at those people, it's a lot of stuff that we're taught to do that a lot of you guys had actually set your mind and set for. Because you're thinking... Your whole being and existence is wrapped around your family. That's not your whole being and You had a life before you had that family. Huh? You had a being. We, sometimes we'll throw ourselves so into something, we forget what we were actually fashioned and made to do. We were made for his glory. We were made to do the will and work of the most high God. And y'all wind up putting so much into your kids, so much into your marriage, so much into your job, so much in other things you're doing, you forget what you were created for. Then you wonder, why stuff don't work? Why this ain't going to, because you forget what your being is about. He doesn't mind us having some things on the side, but that's exactly what it got to be. You got not to separate from like Abraham did. Amen. That's what Abraham did. I ain't going to love nothing that much. I know what I've been told. I've been, what, what, what's my covenant? The covenant he gave me, he's going to bless this man. And he's just trying to make nothing other than what he said. But I, I can see God moving. I see God doing a new thing. Why would God give it to me if it ain't for me? Always nigga sense. Nigga sense seems to hell verse and verse. Spiritual said to say his word ain't changed. Amen. 